ever thought about what lies beyond our blue and green planet? Let's take a journey to our closest celestial neighbor, the moon, through the lens of India's past lunar missions. India's lunar journey started with the Chandrayaan-1 mission, launched back in the year 2008. This mission marked a significant milestone, confirming the presence of water molecules on the lunar surface for the first time. Such a discovery sparked a renewed interest in lunar exploration, not just in India, but across the globe. Fast forward to the year 2019, the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, embarked on their second lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2. Despite the lander's failure to make a successful soft landing, the orbiter component of the mission was a triumph. It continues to orbit the moon, sending back valuable data that contributes to our understanding of this celestial body. Throughout these missions, ISRO has faced its share of challenges and setbacks. But it's important to remember that in the field of space exploration, setbacks are not failures, but stepping stones towards success. They provide valuable lessons that help us improve, innovate, and push the boundaries of what's possible. Despite the setbacks, India's space agency, ISRO, has been undeterred in its quest to explore our closest celestial neighbor, Scene Script. Fast forward to the present day, where India is making history with Chandrayaan-3. In the vast expanse of space, the Moon's South Pole has become the new frontier of exploration, and India's Chandrayaan-3 has carved its name into the annals of lunar history. With a successful touchdown, India became the first nation to land a spacecraft in this uncharted territory, a significant achievement in the global space race. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is not just about planting the Indian tricolor on the lunar surface, it's a quest for discovery, a voyage of scientific curiosity, and an expedition to uncover the moon's hidden treasures. This mission aims to explore the South Pole in detail, a region that has intrigued scientists due to its potential resources. What makes the South Pole so special? It houses water ice, a precious commodity in space. Water not only supports life, but it can also be split into hydrogen and oxygen, providing breathable air and even rocket fuel. This makes the Moon's South Pole a potential pit stop for future deep space missions. But that's not all. The South Pole is also believed to be rich in other valuable resources, like metals, which could be utilized in various ways. The possibilities are endless, and Chandrayaan-3 is the key that could unlock them. With the success of Chandrayaan-3, India has firmly established itself in the exclusive club of lunar explorers. Now, let's take a leap into the future, where India's lunar ambitions are set to soar even higher. The success of Chandrayaan-3 has not only placed India on the map of lunar exploration, but it also paves the way for future missions. Yes, you heard it right, future missions. India is already planning for Chandrayaan-4. Chandrayaan-4, like its predecessor, aims to unravel the mysteries of our closest celestial neighbor. But that's not all. It's not just about exploration and understanding anymore. It's about utilization. The moon, especially its south pole, is believed to be rich in resources, including water and various metals. These resources can be used for fuel, colonization, and even mining. The potential value of these lunar resources? Well, it could be in the trillions of dollars, making the moon a veritable treasure trove waiting to be tapped. But India is not alone in this race. Other countries, including the United States, Russia, and China, also have their eyes on the moon. This could open avenues for international collaborations, making lunar missions a global effort. After all, space is the final frontier, and it's a frontier that we, as a human race, must explore together. And what about lunar colonization? It may sound like a plot straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's a real possibility. With the presence of water ice, the moon's south pole could serve as a potential site for a future lunar base. Such a base could act as a stepping stone for further space exploration, maybe even to the far reaches of our solar system. As India looks to the future, the moon continues to hold the promise of untold possibilities. To conclude, the story of India's lunar exploration is one of resilience, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. From the unfortunate crash landing of Chandrayaan-2 to the triumphant touchdown of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon's south pole, India's journey has been marked by determination and discovery. As the world races to harness the moon's vast resources, 
India has firmly established itself as a key player in this new space age. The potential future of India's lunar missions is bright, with the promise of new breakthroughs and the possibility of unprecedented lunar colonization and mining. As we stand on the cusp of a new era in space exploration, India's journey to the moon is a testament to the infinite potential of human ingenuity and perseverance.